Hello, it's Deborah. We're just 36 days from Eclipse Day, and here's the story of the total solar eclipse that made Albert Einstein famous. In 1911, Einstein had begun saying that space is curved, so light passing near a large mass, such as our sun, would be bent. That idea led to his theory of general relativity in 1915. According to Einstein, starlight passing near our sun has to travel a curved path through curved space. And that means stars near our sun should appear to us to be deflected from their actual positions in space. But how could anyone prove that? How could we see stars near the sun's blinding light to know if they appear deflected or not? And the answer is an eclipse. When the moon blocks the sun, the sky darkens and stars pop into view. So an eclipse should let astronomers observe stars near the sun that otherwise wouldn't be visible. Now enter another great scientist, the British astronomer Sir Arthur Eddington. He organized an expedition to Earth's southern hemisphere to view the eclipse of May 29, 1919, with the goal of testing Einstein's predictions. Eddington's team went to the West African island of Principe. Another part of the team traveled to the town of Sobral in Brazil. What would they see? Would the curved space around the sun bend the light of distant stars? Would it cause a big enough shift in the apparent positions of those stars to be measurable? So Eddington and his teams waited for Eclipse Day, and on May 29, 1919, they observed the total solar eclipse. And their observations showed Einstein was right. The positions of stars near the sun did undergo a shift, as predicted by general relativity. It was proof that the sun had caused a bending in the fabric of space-time. The findings set off an avalanche of international attention. And Albert Einstein became a household name.